All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about rank tracking and specifically having a, a rank tracking solution that you can use uh, that will track your website's positions in Google search. Now, um, any good SEO will tell you not to focus on keyword rankings, and that's because sometimes it's silly to chase vanity rankings for specific keywords where they A, may not be relevant, or B, may be impossible to rank for in the short to medium term. Um, what I like to use rank tracking for is because I select a range of keywords that I would optimize a website for uh, that are either for the home page or specific pages on my website and rank tracking allows me to track how well my optimizations are doing so if I optimize a page to target a specific phrase or phrases as it starts to move up in the rankings it tells me that Google is um, reassessing those pages based on my optimizations and they're moving up getting more visibility in the Google search results that's why rank tracking is important it helps you um, monitor and track how well your site is doing in the organic visibility stakes basically um, so it's not about you getting hung up on specific keywords so um, you might ask why don't I just go to Google and do a Google search and that's the way for track you know that's the way I can track my rankings the reason is this um, now more than ever the search results that I get in Google are completely different to the search results that you can get in Google. And the reasons are myriad, but primarily because Google is dead set on delivering personalized search results to the individual based on uh, their search history, based on the device that they're searching on, based on their physical location, um, based on the social connections that they have, right? So if you were walking down the street and you did a search on your, um, your Android phone, um, you would see a completely different set of search results as if you were searching online on your computer. So classic example, if I search for Brisbane plumber and I'm located in Australia near the city of Brisbane, it's going to give me this set of search results. But if I simply change my location to, let's say, Sydney, Google obviously is going to give me a completely different set of results. First of all, the map results or the Google places or my businesses they're now, local, now known um, are completely different. Um, there are still a few Brisbane based ones and interestingly enough it's because Google knows that I'm still physically located close to Brisbane regardless of the fact that I told it to change it to Sydney anyway so that's one of the reasons right so Google is giving me a completely different set of search results so um, the other the other reason too is that my search history is being tracked so I can't um, independently uh, get a good sense of where my website or where my competitors are ranking because it knows what I'm clicking on and if I keep clicking on my own website of course Google is going to show those search results higher in the, those search listings higher in the search results so that's why we need an independent third-party tool to allow you to track a whole range of keywords that you're targeting for your website now there are a ton of rank tracking solutions out there and they're primarily um, limit your, your, your choice is going to be driven primarily by budget and feature set um, I'm going to go through a bunch of those and show you where you can find out more about them and it's up to you to test them but I'm first of all going to show you a free solution to give you a sense of where your keywords are and that solution is Webmaster Tools and if you look in a previous module I showed you how to set up Webmaster Tools and in this case here Webmaster Tools under the search traffic search query section this is for my own website if you look down here these are the queries for which my website is getting impressions meaning it's showing up in search results and then there are the clicks as well but the beauty is next to this keyword here over to the far right I've got the average position as well so webmaster tools is delivering you a an average position but they're not hundred percent accurate because they're a blend of all of the different averages of devices and locations and whatnot where this phrase generated an impression right so that's a good beginning um, Point. The other issue too with Webmaster Tools is they don't necessarily hang on to all of the data historically. You have to export it and it makes it a pain to report on. If you're a marketing manager and you need a set of standard stylized reports to drop into your marketing reports each month, each month it's, it's helpful to have a good robust tool that checks your rankings daily. So I'll tell you what I, I do. I use a tool called Rank Ranger and Rank Ranger is it's only my personal preference um, I've tested a bunch of different tools and it's within my budget allows me to track um, keyword rankings for a number of clients but also it's got some great nifty reports there's a whole range there one of the reports I like 
that Rank Ranger has is this weekly snapshot report. It does track it on a daily basis, but the beauty of this weekly snapshot report is that it color codes the weekly rankings. And in a glance, I can quickly see how well I'm ranking for a specific keyword phrase. Interestingly enough, you can see, for example, let's just change the date selection here way back when to June and then bring it all the way up to December. And what you'll see is, um, I've optimized my site to rank for online marketing blog. Now I know initially it's difficult to rank for, but you can see in August, my website started to rank for it. And you can see as the color changes, it shows that it's moving up and down. And that's the beauty of this visual weekly rank ranger report. I can see what's going on on a weekly basis, but visually it makes it much easier to see what's going on. Um, it, does, it has a whole range of other different tools. Um, but the beauty is, like I said before, uh, it lets me know how things are going um, for, and all the, the other thing too is it's great for um, seeing if someone's messed something up on your website. So if somebody inadvertently deleted a page or removed a page title, your ranking would suddenly disappear for a specific keyword phrase. So it's a great tool to keep an eye on things that go wrong. So um, what I recommend, uh, there's a great blog post on the blog evolvingseo.com by Dan Shure. He's published a blog post back in 2012 called The Ultimate List of Rank Trackers, Rank Checkers. I'll have this in the resources section, but it's a great blog post where he's trying to collate all of the primary rank tracking tools. Um, I'll leave that for you to browse through at your own time. But um, what I would suggest you're looking for is A, firstly, something within your budget. Uh, there, are, there are rank tracking tools anywhere from $20 a month up to $500 a month. It all depends on what you need out of it. So um, pick something that is A, within your budget. Um, in terms of a feature set, what you want to do is make sure you have a rank tracking solution that tracks both organic search, that tracks mobile search results, and that tracks Google Places or Google Maps. And I'll say that again. So organic search, which is the normal Google search, and mobile, would you believe now that Google is starting to deliver different search results for, for mobile devices? Because mobile devices, uh, mobile search is now an, an independent search result in and of itself. Google is starting to preference sites that are mobile friendly. And so if you have a fast, responsive website that works well on mobile devices, you'll generally see a bump in the mobile search results. And of course, you want something to uh, track your position in the Google Maps. If you're a business that is location specific, say like a Brisbane plumber or a Sydney plumber, you want to be able to see where you are in the Google Maps. Um, absolutely. And the other feature you want to see, you want to keep in mind uh, is whether your, uh, your country is covered. So some of these services don't cover all countries. Most of them do now. So make sure you've got something that covers your country. And the other final feature you wanna have is the ability to export your ranking data in a variety of reports, pretty visual reports, make it easy to report on, as well as getting the data out into CSV or Excel. Uh, some of your alternatives in addition to Rank Ranger include this new one that I'm seeing called Rank Tracker, T-R-A-C-K-R.net, which looks quite interesting, quite visual. Positionally is another rank tracking solution. Um, this one called Serpbook I've come across recently. Um, SEO Rank Monitor looks interesting. And uh, the granddaddy, I suppose, is a system called Authority Labs, which has been around for quite a while. The reality is it doesn't matter what solution you choose, as long as you choose one that's within your budget and has the right feature set. Because what you want is something that is gonna track the data uh, on a daily basis while uh, in your sleep, so you don't have to do it yourself. There are other solutions where you download onto your computer and they boot up every night and check rankings. I, I don't like them because um, if you miss a day, your computer's down, the power's out, you'll miss data. And I like having daily data. Uh, that gives me a sense of what happened on specific days and then I can marry up uh, movements and fluctuations in rankings to changes in the Google organic search results. Uh, changes to the algorithm, uh, changes to the site. So rank tracking, grab a tool, choose a tool, make sure it's within your budget, as long as it's got the right feature set. I use Rank Ranger, but it's up to you to choose what you want. And this is the blog post you wanna check, evolvingseo.com. It's called the ultimate list of rank checkers. If you Google it, you're sure to find it, but you need to have a rank tracking solution. So um, pick one and uh, stick to it.